Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the general concept of chromosome, DNA, gene, alleles and their locations and the production of RNA and protein from the genetic material that means from gene. Okay, now suppose this is a human cell. Human cell. That means it is a eukaryotic cell and so it contain a membrane bound nucleus okay this is the nucleus okay and the genetic material genetic material is present in the nucleus as a chromosome okay and in human cell there are all total there are 23 pairs of chromosomes that means all total 46 chromosomes are present in the nucleus and each chromosome pairs pair is identical to each other and each come from each come from each parents okay now suppose this and this is a identical chromosome pair each one come from father and one come from mother and this identical chromosome pair is known as the homologous chromosome known as homologous chromosome okay now homologous chromosome and now the chromosome is present in two types the first one is the autosome okay number one type is the autosome and autosomes are also called the body chromosomes which are present in the somatic cell all somatic cell somatic cells okay and the chromosome number chromosome number chromosome pair from 1 to 22 is known as the autosomes okay and autosomes are all same in male and female okay and the second type is the allosome allosome and these allosomes are also called the sex chromosome okay and they are mainly they are present in the germ cell germ cells okay that means the egg and the sperm gamete Okay, and this sex chromosome that is the allosomes contain two chromosomes. That is one type is the X chromosome and another type is the Y chromosome. These sex chromosomes are different in male and females. In male, there has one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, and in female, there have Two X chromosomes. Okay, now I come to the DNA that is the deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, and each chromosome which is present in the nucleus composed of DNA that is known as the genetic material of the cell and which is carried from generation to generation. And the DNA molecule is present in its uh, double stranded structure in the chromosome. Now I elaborate this chromosome part like this. Okay. Now this is the double stranded DNA structure which is known the known as the DNA helix. Okay, and each DNA molecule is composed of a ribose sugar. This is the ribose sugar, and here the two in two prime 
2' carbon, the hydroxyl group that is the OH group is removed and that's why it is called the deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay. And the nucleotide base is present here. This nucleotide bases may be adenine, guanine, cytosine or thymine. Okay. Altogether this part, oh, sorry. Altogether this part is known as the nucleoside. Nucleoside. Okay. This is known as the nucleoside and when the phosphate group is bound to bound to this 5 prime carbon this time it is called the nucleoside nucleoside okay and when the nucleoside molecules are come and bind to each other by their by the 3 prime and 5 prime phosphate groups to each other by forming a phosphodiester bond this time they produce the polynucleotide chain okay and when the two polynucleotide chain come and bind to each other by the hydrogen bonding between the adenine between the base uh, nucleotide bases this time they produce the double stranded dna helix okay and when the double stranded dna helix package itself in the nucleus they produce the chromosome okay now what is gene gene is a active and functional portion of the dna that can be further expressed as a protein okay now here i elaborate these two homologous chromosomes like this okay and each come from different each come from each parents okay and these two homologous chromosomes are identical to each other that means they contain the same genes present in the same location okay same genes present in the same location suppose this is the gene a gene b and this are the gene c okay and now and now each same gene which are present in the homologous chromosome in the same location are known as the allenes okay so now this and this is known as the alleles okay and and the location where the alleles are present is known as the locus that means this particular position is known as the locus okay now this each each alleles each alleles can be same or different and the alleles can be different when the mutation can occur in the position of a allele suppose here in this position a mutation is occurred so as a result this gene this allele cannot be expressed as a a functional protein okay but this is the normal uh, wild type allele so that it can further express as a functional protein so this allele we called the dominant and this allele we called the recessive recessive okay now from an active gene the mrna molecules can be produced okay now suppose this is a dna molecule and here a gene active gene is present okay now the rna polymerase bound to this position rna pole is the RNA polymer is bound to this position and produce a single stranded mRNA. Run this direction and produce a single stranded mRNA. This is the mRNA and this process, this process.
process of production of mRNA from the gene that is DNA that is called the transcription. Transcription. Okay. And this mRNA is produced in the nucleus from the DNA. And after production of the mRNA, it comes into the cytoplasm. Suppose this mRNA is produced in the nucleus and then it comes into the cytoplasm through the nuclear pores. Okay. And now this is present in the cytoplasm and here in the cytoplasm ribosomes are present which bound to it like this and add amino acids to coat for a protein like this and as a result produce produce a functional protein this is a functional protein okay now this is the whole general concept okay thank you for watching this video